Oh, oh my, oh my. Is that chicken? Or is that ham? Okay, uh, everything is so wrong right now. So wrong. Disgusting. Yeah, disgusting. The views and opinions I'm about to say in this video may get angry, but... <laughs> Chef Brian Sow here, not your typical chef, and today I'm going to be reacting to Uncle Roger shocked by the horse fried rice video. Shout out to You Should Let Me Love You and Decalo. Last month, I asked the YouTube community, what would you like me to react to next? And overwhelmingly, this was the video that you guys want me to check out. I was torn. <laughs> Which one to do Uncle Roger reaction and react to that? I know it's kind of meta and weird. Or I do the original video. But come on, let's face it. Uncle Roger's hilarious and he's just going to make this video a lot more fun. If you're new to the channel, I am a professional chef with 17 years of experience. I've defeated Bobby Flay on the Food Network show, beat Bobby Flay, as well as run the world-renowned kitchen of Beauty in Essex located right here in New York City. Before I go on with today's reaction, it would mean so much to me if you followed Mission Sandwich on Instagram. This is the Instagram account for my upcoming sandwich shop opening up in Williamsburg, Brooklyn this spring. The views and opinions I'm about to express in this reaction video are exactly that. They're just my views and opinions. This video is meant to be for entertainment and educational purposes. And also, I can get things wrong too. So if you don't agree with me on something or if you have something to add, please Please let me know in the comments below. Now he's going to do the taste test. Taste test. Don't feed this rice to human. Don't mm. do taste test. This okay. is child abuse. Hello, niece and. We about we about to get into child abuse, and it, we're only 11 seconds into the video. Uncle Roger. Today, Uncle Roger gonna review this video requested by so many niece and nephew out there. It's K cooking. Okay, holy shit. Um, so, uh, as I mentioned, I had asked what I should react to next, and an overwhelming amount was for this video. Um, and this Uncle Roger reaction came out a year ago. So, I think we're going to see some shit Show today. Fire rice. As usual, my nephew Nigel, the cameraman. <laughs> nephew Nigel, say hi. Hey, Uncle Roger, and hey, nieces and nephews. Remember, Uncle Roger is doing a comedy video, so don't go attacking anyone after this, okay? Shit. <laughs> uh, wow, so he had to add a disclaimer. Hi, <laughs> uh, yeah, nephew Nigel. Yeah, guys, bullying is not cool. I don't like bullying, <laughs> and... Uh, I may see some things I don't like. Uh, I may overreact a little, but yeah, bullying's not cool. Don't do that. Too much. All my niece and nephew are decent people. Don't worry. Hi, people, and I'm back cooking. Okay. And Got today Iron Maiden I'm shirt. going to be doing All Hail Metal. Special fried right. rice. Okay, I, this video. I like how this amateur, is starting, you know, fellow metalhead right there. My favorite genre of video is amateur. <laughs> this video look quite <laughs> <laughs> nice touch, but Uncle Roger. But sometimes amateur people, the most passionate, Uncle Roger, give this video a shot. I agree with I that. Some... I've had plenty of uh, uh, amateur home cooking before that I thought was absolutely outstanding that could rival any restaurant, uh, for sure. There is plenty of that out there. But, you know, you can be a passionate home cook and not be made for the professional setting. These are two very different places and environments to cook in that require, you know, a different part of your being, of your, you know, of skill and uh, different parts of your brain and management. So, you know, again, I already know this is not going to be a great video as far as technique with the amount, with the disclaimers and the amount of shit I keep hearing about this. So let's keep going. I don't think that's an induction burner. That is like a, a coil burner with glass over it. I, and I only say that because induction burners, at least the ones that I've worked with, typically don't light up. Maybe the newer ones do so that you know that it's on because sometimes, you know, it can it can still be hot even after you turn it off. However, induction burners don't get, they, it's definitely going to be hot, but the heat is actually from the pan sitting on the surface of the induction burner, whereas something like this, a coil you know, it's literally just a coil with electricity going through it or electricity powering it and heating it up and it's heating the glass that's over it. That is gonna be searing fucking hot. Um, and I think that is why actually they have a light turn on so that you know that it's on and you don't accidentally burn yourself. Stove, I, uh, I just oh, so, said give this a shot and she messed up already. Okay. And why her So Uncle Roger is, uh, he thinks it's an induction stove. Either way, I, I agree, you know, this is wok cookery. 
you generally want a high powered flame that surrounds the wok that really coats the wok in heat. Um, but you know, she's using a home style wok with the flat surface and she's bringing the oil to the smoke point, which is the start of the wok. Hey, stove purple. Uncle Roger never <laughs> seen this before, but at least it's like she Thanos's got stove. And now I'm going to chop some garlic up because it says it got to be really hot and this is the dumbest way to see if your wok is hot. Don't just put your hand in the wok, you will burn yourself high. Uh, just use your eye. No, Uncle Roger, you can put your hand over the oil to check if it's hot. Don't be a pussy. That's how you know if wok is hot. If there's smoke coming out from wok, you well, know it's that's hot. True too. This is not the you know, time yeah. to use finger. Right. Don't use finger. Right, now I'm going to chop the garlic up. Fingers going in there, never mind. Why your knife so colourful? Is this knife for children? Why are you using Sesame Street knife? And also look at her chopping. The garlic so uneven. They're big pieces, they're small pieces, chopped properly. Hi yeah. It is for, it is being cut very inconsistently. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, that's not good technique right there. She's doing the one hand chop, not even holding the product that she's trying to cut. And you know, if she's trying to mince up garlic, I would not use a paring knife. That's a, a paring knife is the smaller knife. I would use a full size knife, crush the garlic, and then just rough chop it up. Um, so not the wrong tool and not the right technique. It's so ugly. She did cut off the uh. root stem. <laughs> <laughs> her chopping so garlic. bad, even the garlic tried to escape from her. <laughs> Two hours later. <laughs> How long is the original K video? This must be the world's slowest chopping. I think by the time she finished chopping, everybody will have got vaccine. Okay, maybe Uncle COVID. Roger cut down the original video, because yeah. <laughs> She's still chopping. Is this egg fried rice tutorial? Or how not to chop garlic tutorial. <laughs> now, I know a lot of you said flatten it with the back of the knife to do the garlic, but okay, yeah. uh, probably haven't got enough strength anyway to do it with the back of the knife. So weak. Yeah, so like get a bigger weak knife. So garlic, you cannot flatten. Hi, uh, I think, Kay, you need to go to gym so you can be stronger than clove of garlic. <laughs> now, I know a lot of you said flatten it with the back of the knife to do the garlic. That suggestion is right. When Uncle Roger chopped garlic, I first flatten garlic with the back of knife, yeah. then the skin yeah. easy to peel off, yeah. and then you yes. can chop properly. If you nice. don't smash your garlic first, that's why your garlic jump around when you're <laughs> chopping, because it's not flat. Hi. Yeah. Learn the proper mm. technique. Okay, finally, she cooking. <laughs> what a letdown. <laughs> As you can see, it's very hot, and it's, the garlic has now turned brown. No, 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 no. Whoa, okay. Holy shit. That is, that is singe. That is ash. That is no good right there. That wok is way too hot. So I guess, I guess she left the wok on this entire time while she was cutting the garlic. Uh, yeah, so completely, complete mismanagement of her timing right there. Wow. Wow, this is starting really bad. Oh my God, turn <laughs> Brown, what you mean? Turn brown the it's garlic blacker than it's Auntie Helen. Singed. What woman are you colorblind? It completely <laughs> burnt this garlic. Looks so much like burn victim. Uncle Roger, <laughs> wanna start a GoFundMe for it? I didn't know you could make garlic look like it lived through Chernobyl. Hi, uh, Uncle Roger, sad now. Yeah, I'm <laughs> for egg fried rice, you want to gently right brown the that. garlic until it's fragrant. Not cremated. Mm. This is the garlic ashes. The Give Uncle Roger the garlic. I will give it proper burial. Garlic is Asian people's favorite ingredient. And you destroy it. That's for sure. <sighs> Uncle Roger feels so much pain in heart. Uncle Roger, are you okay? I find, I find. Holy shit, this guy's got another Don't bottle. Work. This guy is, he's into his Yamazaki, man. Yeah, look, there's another bottle. What else is in there? Is that more liquors or is that cough syrup? I don't know, but he's flexing some Yamazaki right there. Or maybe he's trying to get a Yamazaki deal or something. Are you okay? I find, I find. Nephew Nigel, in for a second. All right, uh, let's keep worry. watching. I'm sure this video won't get any worse than this. <sighs> oh boy, he doesn't even know what's coming. It gets worse. Yes! What? 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 What's she? What's she doing? Rice. What's she doing? Is that raw rice she putting in wok? No, 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 no. I think Uncle Roger is seeing wrong. I am in so much shock that I can barely speak right now. Okay, when I was 
looking at the thumbnails, trying to decide which video to react to, if I should do the Uncle Roger reaction to K and or the original K video. I thought in the thumbnail I saw raw rice, but it was a thumbnail. It was so small, so I couldn't tell. But I was like, whatever. I, I don't want to think too much into it because I don't want to react to it before I film it. But she just put fucking raw rice in there. Now, when you make a rice peel off, you do actually saute the rice with the oil and some onions and whatever aromatics first. So that's actually not... That's not a foreign technique. That's not a strange technique by any means. What that actually does is dry out the rice even further and it actually adds a really nice textural component when you do that. Cook your onions and your aromatics until it gets, you know, uh, the onions get translucent in some oil. You put in your rice, you stir it in, not into singed garlic oil, but you stir it in, you kind of, you know, get the rice warm and then you add your stock, you cover it and you make rice peel off. I'm pretty sure that's not what she's doing. She doesn't, you know, based on her knife skills, uh, I, I don't think she has the uh, skill set to make rice peel off. Singed ass garlic. The oil was screeching hot for way too long. So it's going to denature the oil, create free radicals and off flavors. Not to mention when you really singe oil too hard, like I said, you denature it, but it can even get like a little bit of like this kerosene flavor that is not pleasant whatsoever. And then she puts raw rice in there. <laughs> she really put uncooked rice into wok. I can't even put my leg back up on chair. This is the most stress I feel. How <laughs> does she know rice need to be cooked? Uncle Roger say, if your rice too wet, you fucked up. But if your rice uncooked, <laughs> you definitely fucked up. Oh no, no. Holy She's stirring shit. the uncooked. Okay, look, 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 look. So you see that discoloration on the rice? That is burnt oil. That is not good for you. That shit will give you cancer. Not to mention all the burnt garlic. Wow. Rice, no, no. Wow, oh I have never God. seen something. Stirring the uncooked rice. I have never seen cooking so garlic. bad in my life. Mm. Kay, listen, Kay, you're fellow metalhead. And I, you look like a wonderful person, but you put this on the internet, you're asking for it, you know what I mean? <laughs> she just massacred our rice. Watching this video is like watching Schindler's List of oh. egg fire rice. Salt. Pepper. <sighs> Uncle Roger have been defeated. I am now empty shell of a man. <laughs> Seeing this rice, I'm not even mad that she not using MSG because even MSG cannot save yeah, her we'll niece save and nephew. This. <laughs> Uncle Roger sampled many different brands of MSG before and my favorite brand of MSG is this Indonesian brand called Sasa. Oh, I've never Uncle tried that Roger myself. I usually go with Ajimoto, it's Japanese That's why even Uncle Gordon make his egg fried rice, he go to the middle of nowhere Ooh, I gotta, I gotta check this that company, one out. Actually, Sasa, people in the comments have mentioned that video too. Fire rice free yo. <laughs> this is the Sasa Javanese fire rice seasoning. You can cook authentic Javanese fire rice with just this and only 10 minutes. This packet can ruin Jamie Oliver's whole career. It has authentic <laughs> Indonesian ingredients like shrimp paste and soy sauce, no chili jam. So niece and nephew, if you in Indonesia, Damn, a freaking go buy Sasa, Sasa Javanese fire rice seasoning because you deserve to I enjoy I want to check that life. out though. Back to Ouija. <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm going to break some eggs because um, it's looking a bit too dry. You fucking think? What? Because it's looking a bit too dry? Woman, the rice looked too dry <laughs> because you didn't cook the rice. Hi, yeah. This woman think dry rice can be saved by egg. You don't need egg. You need a miracle. This rice drier than my ex-wife, Auntie Helen. Even egg cannot save her also. Auntie oh Helen God. have egg inside her and she's still dry. What is going on? Sorry, children. What is going on eggs. right now? Beat them up. You beat egg up. Uncle Roger want to beat you up. <laughs> look at how sad this rice look. <laughs> this look like raw rice with rat shit inside. Oh my how can you ruin beautiful grain of rice like that? The rice farmer work. Oh man, anytime someone mentions rat shit, I have this freaking awesome story. So my father is a mechanic and he's owned gas stations, you know, his entire life. Now he just has a repair shop. But growing up, I worked at this gas station and uh, my dad would always tell me this story about one of my uncles 
Everyone in the family has worked at this gas station at some point, stocking shelves, working the register, cleaning the bathrooms, including myself. My first job was at 12, 13 years old, scrubbing toilets, the public toilet, by the way, for the for the gas station mini mart. And, uh, uh, you know, so my uncle was tasked with cleaning some shelves and restocking. And then he like took all this stuff from the shelves, handful of it and brought it to my dad. And he was like, Uncle John, my dad's name is John. It's like, Uncle John, you know, why is there all this black rice all over the place? And he was holding a handful of rat shit. <laughs> so every time someone mentions rat shit, that's the first story I think about. Rice for you and you disrespect it like this, hi. Uh... <laughs> it says I've got to put the chicken in with the egg. Be right, can I? What? So you think putting chicken in the egg is wrong, but you think putting uncooked rice in burnt garlic- Wait, wait, wait. So there's chicken going in this too? Right, what your logic? What your logic? Yeah, there is no logic oh, here. No, oh, oh my, oh my. Is that chicken? Or is that ham? Okay, uh, everything is so wrong right now. So wrong. Disgusting. Yeah, disgusting. With every step, the rice Charred, just looks worse and worse. Charred, singed garlic, raw see, rice. I've been cooking some peas. I... Is this a troll? So she had, uh, first of all, those peas are overcooked to death. They are going to be mush. So when she puts them in there, it, it oh my, I don't, I don't even want to imagine what the color this rice is going to be. Um, you can <laughs> clean your kitchen, yo. Jeez, look at the grout between the tiles. It is filthy. That looks like ham, but she mentioned something about chicken. So singed garlic, raw rice, eggs going in there's no additional oil in there so that egg is gonna stick to the pan like crazy and then she she didn't bother cooking the rice but she's cooking the peas don't know if you're supposed to cook them first <laughs> you're not supposed to cook the peas first you're supposed to cook the rice first hi uh, this woman cook pea but she don't cook rice no oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> If you ever saw my uh, episode of uh, that I did of Chopped, I did Chopped before I did Beat Bobby Flay, which, by the way, I lost. Uh, there was a can of marrow fat peas, and this looks exactly like it, and I fucking hate those peas. I think it's looking a lot better now. This is the end product of special fried rice. <sighs> is that not the saddest thing you've seen? Look at the rice. Look at the rice. It's so uncooked. And then the green pea looks so soggy. This rice looks like Uncle Roger Future. Is that a Louis Vuitton plate? <laughs> it looks like a Louis Vuitton plate. <laughs> this rice looks like Uncle Roger Future. What's she gonna do with this rice? Right, Lee's going to do the taste test. Yeah, of taste course you're gonna test. give it to someone else Don't to taste test. Don't this it. rice to human. Don't do taste test. This is child abuse. <laughs> this rice you don't even feed to animal, but you feed your children. I don't Hi, think, I don't uh, think animals would eat it either. Don't arrest her. She's abusing <laughs> this boy. If you feed this rice to starving person, even starving person will say, I choose to die. I don't want to eat this. <laughs> Who holds spoon like this? He holds spoon like <laughs> shovel. So the mom can't cook and the son can't spoon this family. All sorts of fucked up. <laughs> Look at her, so excited <laughs> to see what he think. Okay, it's not good. It's not good. I appreciate you have passion to start your own cooking channel. But this is not how cooking channel is supposed to work. It's not supposed to bake Asian people. <laughs> what? What? You can't taste the garlic. You can't taste the garlic. Of course you can't taste <laughs> the garlic. garlic. The garlic is so burnt, it becomes cold now. <laughs> yeah, well, very camp, but very... Faint. Yeah. <laughs> rice a bit crunchy. <laughs> what? What he say? What he say? The rice a bit crunchy. The rice crunchy. <laughs> of course, the rice. <laughs> the rice not cooked at all. The rice just came from Paddy Field this morning, and you eat the rice. Hi. Uh, of course, it crunchy. <laughs> of course. Right. I hope I gave you a rough idea on how to do special fried rice. Like I said. <laughs> <laughs> just like nonchalant, like, I just served you the worst shit anyone could ever eat. Hope you liked it. I was looking forward to do it because I thought it was going to turn up the wrong way. 
so yeah. Yeah. It Okay, that you is the are definition woman, of wrong. But you terrible cook. I Pink thought the Jamie Oliver fried rice was bad. Where are you Holy getting these shit. recipes? The dark web. How are you feeling <laughs> right now, Uncle Roger? Uncle Roger feels so violated. Gonna go make my own egg fried rice now. I I don't know how Uncle Roger. I don't know how you could eat anything right now. I oh. Don't forget. When Uncle Roger hit 3 million subscribers, I gonna make my own egg fried rice. 3 million. We almost there, miss and nephew. Smack the subscribe button now. Like <laughs> I know what he's gonna say. But you out there, please, it would mean a lot to me if you hit the subscribe button, hit the like, leave me a comment. Smack a bag of uncooked rice that <laughs> Kay about to prepare. Oh yeah, and go follow my Instagram too, at Mr. Nigel Ung. Remember? Yeah, if you don't mind, also follow me on Instagram, at Chef Brian Sao. Thanks, guys. This video is comedy. Don't attack anyone. <laughs> See you next week. Bye-bye. Okay. Oh, wow. 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 I have never seen anything like that in my entire life. Forget my career in my life. Holy shit. <laughs> Guys, I, I, I don't know if I can make any closing remarks because that was bad. That was really bad. What do I score at one out of 10? I mean, ugh, like just give me a pistol so I can Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly did. What a blast. I'm glad I did watch the Uncle Roger reaction. It was kind of funny. Some of our reactions really synced up. I'm sure as it did for many of you. Anyway, again, follow at Mission Sandwich. That's my upcoming sandwich shop. Thank you very much. I'm going to let you go. Thanks for tuning in. I am Chef Brian Sow, not your typical chef, and I'll see you really soon.